Most college guys have only one thing on their minds. We gotta go! But not these boys. They have their heads in the clouds. Please! We're begging. Oh We're begging. These University of Oklahoma meteorology students are serious storm chasers. And their adventures take them into some pretty dangerous situations. Oh my god! Their leader is Reed Timmer, drawn to storm chasing by a movie, but now he's living the reality. I saw Twister and I realized just how exciting storm chasing could be. And I thought that it fit my lifestyle perfectly. So that's why I came to Oklahoma to study meteorology and chase tornadoes. Reed and his friends couldn't have picked a better place to do it. Oklahoma is in the center of America's Tornado Alley, and every spring, it's Twister Central. Got it. The rush is amazing, just having Mother Nature go medieval on you and just feeling the power of being right there next to a tornado. And getting next to a tornado means being close enough to actually experience the wrath of nature in a way few live to tell about. Careful, Aaron. Careful, slow down. Don't get too close. We could feel the warm, moist air right next to it. And you could hear it, it sounded like a waterfall. Like you could actually hear the tree limbs snapping, you could smell the deciduous leaves that were torn. They've chased the wicked weather all through Oklahoma and Texas, watching it tear up fields. We have a monster tornado! And tear down homes. That's a house. Oh my god! Oh no! That house is gone. But they don't do this just for thrills. They also report tornado movements for the National Weather Service. But some think that's not a very smart hobby. We're meteorology majors. This is what we do. I don't care what you are. You're crazy. What you are. You got a ham radio. We radioed in. We, we track it so people, we can warn people in the future. Yeah, I know that. The boys hope to have a long career in the field, if they watch their step. Why wire gone? They're going our way. But then again, the odds have been in their favor since the start. I could tell it was going to be a big day at, right at that moment. But I didn't think, of course, it produced an F5. Chasing their first storm as freshman meteorology students, they watch one of the century's most powerful tornadoes unfold right before their very eyes. It was a half mile wide tornado at that time, but we didn't know exactly where it was. Then, as if it knows they're tracking it, the monster appears, only a few hundred yards away. Yeah. We saw the tornado kind of heading in our general direction, and debris started raining down from the sky. Um, insulation, kitchen tiles, dust, tree limbs, and so obviously we realized we were in a little bit of danger. So we thought the best thing to do would be to abandon our vehicle and run underneath an overpass, which is also bad because the overpass acts as a wind tunnel. Their youthful enthusiasm gets them close enough to be touched by this juggernaut of weather. But also, it almost gets them killed. Reed, holding onto the camera, gets lifted off his feet. Help! Oh my god. That was the scariest moment of my life. He regains his footing and runs to the edge to get a better view. I'm going to get it, Rick. Video tape. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Still not satisfied, they chase after the massive tornado on foot. David, come on! Listen to it! Listen to it! Listen to it! Listen to it! Roar. Listen to it! You can hear it! Reed and his friends are spared by the storm, but a nearby town is not so lucky. The savage tornado cut a swath through several Oklahoma communities, leveling whole neighborhoods. We traveled east into the community of Moore. We saw just houses leveled all the way off their foundations. We saw a semi-truck that was thrown through a building. It was, it was just terrible. I can't put it into words. The tornado was classified as an F5. And with winds of 318 miles per hour, it was one of the most powerful storms ever recorded. 
but thanks to early warnings from these students and others like them, there was little loss of life. And as for these extreme meteorologists, one thing is clear. The only thing more twisted than the twisters is them. <laughs> no!